Hi, my name is Nienke de Glas. I'm a medical doctor and I'm doing a PhD on uh, breast cancer in older women at the Leiden University Medical Center in the Netherlands. Um, and I will now share some of our findings on our study on breast cancer screening in older women. So a large proportion of breast cancer patients uh, is older than 65 years of diagnosis. And this proportion is expected to increase in the upcoming decades because of the aging of Western societies. If we then look at breast cancer outcome in older women, uh, it is well known that uh, breast cancer mortality increases with age. So, and this is despite uh, the fact that a competing mortality, so mortality from other causes, also increases with age. So therefore, it has been debated uh, if breast cancer screening uh, may play a part in improving prognosis of older women uh, with breast cancer. Breast cancer screening in general has been uh, under debate for many years because despite the fact that it may save lives uh, due to early detection, it may also result in a proportion of overdiagnosis and overtreatment. And this is especially important in older patients because it has been shown that older patients are at increased risk uh, of harmful effects of treatment. If we look at the evidence base for breast cancer screening in older women, Randomized clinical trials that were previously performed rarely included patients above the age of 68. However, there have been several observational studies that suggested uh, beneficial effects of screening in terms of survival, also in older women. Um, but it must be taken into account that these studies often suffer from lead time bias, length time bias and also selection bias. There is an alternative uh, to study the outcomes of screening in observational data. And this method has been suggested by uh, Laura Esserman in 2009. Uh, and she suggested that in the ideal situation, so in a very successful breast cancer screening program, the incidence rate of early stage tumors increases, while as a consequence of that, the, inc the incidence rate of uh, advanced stage tumors decreases because these tumors are found, are found at an earlier stage. So this is actually a key condition uh, for a successful screening program. If we then look at breast cancer screening in the Netherlands, uh, in the Netherlands all women between the ages of 50 and 70 uh, receive an invitation for biannual mammography screening uh, and the upper age limit of 70 was extended to 75 in 1998, even though the available evidence was uh, quite limited. So the aim of our study was to assess the incidence rates of early stage tumors and advanced stage tumors after the implementation of screening in women aged 70 to 75 in the Netherlands. For this study we used data from the Netherlands Cancer Registry and we included all patients uh, who were diagnosed with breast cancer in this period. Um, we divided the time periods into a period before screening, a screening uptake period of five years, um, and as an active screening period after uh, 2004. As you can see, we observed a very large increase of, in of early stage tumors uh, directly after the implementation of screening. This is what you would expect after implementation of a new screening program. But as you can see, uh, even in the active screening phase, uh, the, incident of, the incidence rate of uh, early stage tumors uh, remained uh, much higher than it was before screening. However, if we then look at the incidence of advanced stage tumors, as you can see, almost nothing happened with these uh, incidence rates. So the, although there was a statistically significant decline, uh, this decline was very small in the incidence of advanced stage tumors. And as you can see here, we calculated that for every advanced stage tumor that was prevented by screening, uh, 20 extra or so-called yeah, so extra early stage tumors were diagnosed and therefore overdiagnosed. So our findings implicate that breast cancer screening in older women uh, may lead to a large proportion of overdiagnosis and this can have potential harmful effects because older patients are at large risk of adverse events of breast cancer treatment. Also, older patients have a large risk of dying from other causes, so-called competing mortality, and therefore the absolute benefits of breast cancer screening may be much smaller than in younger patients. Finally, breast cancer screening is very expensive and maybe this money could be better spent on improving treatment strategies of older breast cancer patients because uh, the evidence that is currently available for treatment of older patients with breast cancer is still very limited. Therefore, we propose that breast cancer screening of older women should be much more personalized 
and it should be based not only on the patient preference but also on remaining life expectancy and also the, the absolute risk of breast cancer. And there have been many uh, nomograms that can be used to calculate the breast cancer risk. So thank you very much for your attention. Um, I would like to thank all the authors who have contributed to this study. And if you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Thank you very much.